my uh, stream notification in my server is not working. Whenever I go live, it's supposed to notify people, and it has not happened, so it's just us for now. slow start there. I love when technology does not cooperate. But anyhow, um, today I'm working on a condition for a friend of mine and I'm trying to finish it tonight if I can. Um, it's an animated little avatar dragon. Here, I'll show you. We can switch to the other screen. Give me a second. right now because I have to, um, there's a lot of weird layer work that goes into making animations the way I do. So I've got, like, this jaw here is in its own folder, open mouth is in its own folder, and in its own folder we got the body, we got, um, tail layers, so we got wings. I'm mostly, I want to say I'm over halfway done with this. Um, the hard part's going to be the face, so that's why I'm, excuse me, that's why I'm saving it for last.
still in your space. Yes, you did. What? 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 What's the function?
Well, sure, do not take my trap back, please. Thank you.
Wow, I sneezed. I'm so sorry if that scared anybody. It scared me.
thank me very much. I was really excited about how that turned out. Did you want it to be really fun? Animation hard. Very simple frames on this dude, but still, I'm gonna play. Big big strength should be. Man, I'm actually getting somewhere with this. The real tedious part is gonna be when I open film more and put all these layers in there. Start moving them around.
extra thick! There you are! There I am. Let him sketch you. Get over here, you stinker. <laughs> Since the last gaze upon this, I finished the ears. Ooh. Oh, so his ears wiggle like that. Hell yeah, the oh, ears. Yeah, and I finished his bottom jaw opening closing. A. So I'm on to the top of his face now. And once that's done, I gotta draw the inside of his mouth, and then I have to make him blink. Yeah. I'll probably make him blink before I draw the inside of the mouth. That's why he has no jaw right now. <laughs> he is jawless. So no jaw? On the floor. <laughs> Oops, takes your jaw. <laughs> I got your jaw! <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, I am clean. Alright, gotta message my housemate. Gotta message the housemate? I know, but I always love when I see the color because it's funny. It's like, all right, we color it blue, but and once we do that, it'll become purple. <laughs> the color of our choice. <laughs> but what if, what if he is blue? Ooh, that'd be wild. Blueberry like, oh, dragon. My. Blueberry dragon. <laughs> oh my god. This big blueberry dragon. Who would be the raspberry dragon? Just give him every berry color you can. <laughs> he changes color with the seasons. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. See, the real twist is he's actually a little bit of every dragon. Ooh. And his colors change throughout the season. A red dragon with a little bit of gold dragon blood in it. Yeah. What, what dwarves thought? What if we put some gold dragon in this red dragon? 
That'll make them more tame, right? And the answer is no, it doesn't. They're still dragons. They're still sentient creatures that were like, I'm, I'm a person. I can eat you and breathe fire on you. But a person all the same. I am a I'm big, baby. nasty, evil person. <laughs> I will be nasty, evil. Goodbye. Nom 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 flies away. <laughs> Immensely audacious. Yes. And then he moved into hell to bother a demon. And then he, and then he moved to hell to bother a demon just for the sake of gold. Yeah. Like, why are you in hell, honey? <laughs> you can get money elsewhere, but I want money here. Why are you in hell, buddy? Do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, in fairness, I believe dragons are immune to the damage type, so it's like, aren't you in pain? No, why? <laughs> like, everything's on fire. Yeah, and? What about it? What about it? What, you a pussy? You don't like fire? You sad? <laughs> <laughs> you sad little no fire boy? Me and Robbie are fire. Made of fire. <laughs> Made of fire. I still like that one video where it's like, if I ever could really do like any level of animation, I'd love to do it of Bull and Umbrathul. Just Umbrathul being like, if I have three gold coins oh, yeah. and I take away two, how many? Gold coin. Do you have? And bold stares. Twenty six. <laughs> <laughs> just, just the idea of like a brother just staring at him like in intense rage. Like, why? Go crazy, why? go stupid. Go crazy, go stupid. I can't believe you done this. <laughs> stretch. Big stretch. stretch. Good stretchy is always good for stretch. Yeah. I grab. I grab. I'm trying to grab. <laughs> While well, I'm doing something. You're doing something. What well, one's a crab, the other one. <laughs> it feels like the other arm's doing a dance. My camera's so confused. Come on. There's that hand. Oh, hold this hand. Right. Oh, oh, there goes that hand. There we go. My hands were too close together. It got so confused. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. So I finally watched The Suicide Squad. Not the bad one, the good one. Yeah. And I freaking love Nanawe. Yeah, I wonder why. I wonder if it's because he's a giant shark man. Gee, it's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> it's really a conundrum. Seriously though, I, I want more King Shark, or just shark characters with just actual shark heads. Yeah. None of this, like, scrunched up, like, squished face sharks. True, just big, goofy shark heads. There's a Star Wars species that's like that. But like, it is a little more human shaped, but their entire face is just a shark. That's all I want. I just want big shark head. I'm looking for the species. Okay. Yes! I Okay, in my mind, I knew it, what it was called, but my brain was like, why would I remember that? So I googled it, and I was right. I hate that I have Star Wars encyclopedic knowledge just <laughs> in my head at all times. You ate a Star Wars computer, you now have all knowledge of Star Wars forever within your brain. Hate it. I hate it. <laughs> it's your curse. Yeah, they're called Carcaradons. Carcaradons. I'll link their wiki page. 
Yeah. 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 Good. Good. That's what I'm talking about. Shark head. Yeah. They are shark people. Ah. Uh, let me see. I never saw an image of them. Ah, uh, give me a second. Oh, wait, here's... Here is... In the wiki page. Yeah, no, I saw. Um, another fun one that my dad sent me, uh, because he knows how much I love sharks. Um... In Doctor Who, there was a audio uh, book called uh, The Pescatons. And they are short people. <laughs> so, like, this is, like, uh, the best I could have. But it's fun. It's really just a bunch of short people come and invade Earth, and Doctor Who comes to save the day. Nice. And I'm like, yay, Pescaton! And it's like, the Pescaton! And I'm like, that's a good name. That's a good name right there. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. I say, I, I say thank you. Are the faces of that is my boy, but Nat is like, or sorry, bull. <laughs> you can call yeah. me Nat. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I, get, I mean, I know it's fine either way, but my brain's like, no, it is bull. When bull is here. I'm more uh, evil right now. More evil. Um, but yeah, Bull, uh, is the artist on this one, it's like... Yeah, but your concept. Get baked! Get baked! I don't have any weed. You ain't got any proof. Did I tell you about the, the weed turtle at D at LARP? No. So, we have stupid freaking mods. At, or not even mods, just... We, we call them popcorn. They're like little creatures and silly things that come to entertain town. Because you can't have story stuff happen all game. And one of them was just a turtle that sold pond weed. But the pond weed was just weed. <laughs> and... Yeah, we, it, it was like... I got pond weed, I got the good stuff. Don't donate the bog weed though. The bog weed's the bad stuff. Has a bad time. <laughs> and it was hilarious. And then one character in the game who is known to be chaotic named Biscuit, just like in broad daylight in front of town itself, grabbed the turtle, because I had a plush little turtle I was using as the as the prop. Yeah. I just stuffed the turtle into the bag to take home to become like a drug creator. Oh my god. And it was hilarious. Well, the thing is, the turtle was selling the weed just for food. Like, he was like, no interest in money, just wanted food and goods. And, like, Bistick was like, oh, no, I'll totally. Like, after, like, kind of using Void Command to make the turtle more chill, was like, I, I am still going to totally, like, feed you, take care of you. I just want you to make drugs for me. And the turtle's like, yo, to be honest, even with the whole command me to be okay, this is actually a pretty good deal, even if I wasn't under command. <laughs> I just want food, and this is pretty good. So now he has uh, connections with Jimothy the Drug Turtle. Nice. Oh, look, we've got right. two unknowns in chat. <sighs> Which one is this? What letter is that? Type is like. I think that's a K. No, it's not. Uh. No, it might be. Now it's that tabby. For Sharon is a P. For, sh for Sharon, yeah. Yeah, for Sharon is a P. No, oh, or is that Q? Fuck, I can't tell what that tiny is. <laughs> It, it, it's F-O-R-S-C-H-E-R-I-N. No, 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 no. I, I know, I know what the name is. I just can't tell what letter unknown they are. Oh! My ba- Okay, dumbest fucking brain fart. I thought, like, when you said unknown, you meant, like, <laughs> unknown, like, anonymous user. No, no, no. No, I just noticed I now. Yes, an actual unknown <laughs> in- the chat. Okay, that makes more sense. Ah, right, for sure it changed. Uh, <laughs> wow. Might be okay for wow. It's that tabby, or it's the tabby. Yeah, wow, well, wow, well, it's that abby. Oh, the abby. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I kept wondering. My brain was like, no, it's tabby, like the cat. Yeah. I like when people randomly spawn in as unknown letters because, uh, well, in, in for sure it's case. Uh, 
out and she spawned in as a shiny and I was like, yeah, we got one. Ah, yeah. We got one, guys. Let's go. Tosses a Pokeball. <laughs> that, Sharon, you're now ours. <laughs> Watch out. Watch out. Bull will take you. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. I need to get myself a Pokeball prop. You do. I'm sure you... there's a free Pokeball I can download somewhere. Does this mean you get food? Do you want me to feed you like a little maple story creature? Because <laughs> I can. Hey. Just in theory. Just imagine it, I'm sprinkling food. <laughs> little maple story creature. Oh yeah, I can actually feed you all the <gasps> Yeah, oh yeah! This is, this is Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Start jumping. Explanation point jump. Yes. An exclamation point jump. Yeah! Just like that. And if you want to avoid spam filter type exclamation exclamation point jump, then the number one, and then you can do the number two and the number three, and each time that message sends, it's, it's it won't get caught by the spam filter, so you can just spam jumping and get jumps in there. Yeah, I think if you likely do like that, jump one, two, three, and then go back to jump and just repeat, like cycle through, without yeah. the spam going, stop it! Yeah. I would jump, but I don't want to steal anybody's little stars. Yeah, I'll let you guys feed. <laughs> feed me, Seymour. Feed me, Seymour. Umberthul's got enough food. He's fine. <laughs> never enough. It's... Never. I mean, never enough. But this boy got enough food for now. He deserves a special treat all the time. He is. Oh, definitely. Like, he, he is... Like, again, I love this guy because he is equal parts, like, terrifying dragon who will kill you, but also if you run up going, want a treat? You want a treat? He's like, I want a treat. Yeah, yes, yes. It's like, <laughs> give, me now. Treat. give me treat, treat, yes, treat. <laughs> <laughs> like old, old habits of when he lived amongst dwarves and was treated more like a gigantic pet than. Oh. I mean, he got the last laugh because, like, whoever owned him, there, there is no whoever now. <laughs> <laughs> he ate them. He ate them. He's like, I got treat, and. Extra. Ha, I take treat for myself. <laughs> treat is mine. <laughs> I actually love the idea that as like you see him flying away, he is also like he has all his gold and then an extra bag, and it's just the treats bag that he's stolen. Oh. My That's treats. Like, my treats. Like we all thought he was gonna burn down the town, but he just really wanted to take all the treats with him, so he just he's good. He robbed the bakery and the butcher, and that was it. That was it, yeah. It's <laughs> like, he, he he went to the jewelers, to the bank, yeah, what else? Then the, the bakers and the butchers, and he just kind of flew away. I love him. This big dumb boy. Silly, silly baby. But I love him. One day, I will play him in a game. And he, he will either be, like, if, depending on the DM, he will either be, like, a genuine dragon, but either it'll be, like, a much younger version of him, so when it's like, aha, he will, you know, I will now transform, and he is, like, a wormling. Oh. He's not a full-grown dragon, it's like, oh. You know, we, you, with the way you describe yourself, we expected an actual, like, adult dragon, not this tiny little guy that's like, I am amazing, bow to me. <laughs> Or he is just a genuine weirdo who thinks he is a dragon. And he's just a draconic sorcerer. Oh, or, yeah. or he is an adult dragon but trapped in the body of a half elf. That would be nice. Just a little he guy, got, just a little guy. He got true polymorphed and he's trying to fix it. Yeah, he did he did not realize true polymorph can be permanent if you do it too long. Whoops. He's like, oops. Yeah, he's just a little guy, just a little birthday boy. There's a little guy. <laughs> it's a birthday. When he hit a guy on his birthday. I, I just love that story. Whether or not it's true, the idea is hilarious of a guy that just like acts like a dickhead and then suddenly goes, I'm just a little birthday boy. I'm a little guy. <laughs> yeah. It's a birthday.
too much um my friday group for curse of straw where, where are you in curse of straw by the way um i don't know how to say it without possibly also spoiling you have you gone through it all the way before i i've i've played the game before i'm okay. beating it now um we are currently at morning private's tower Damsel Distress has been kidnapped for a while, and we're trying to figure out how to save her. Oh, we've, okay. We've been to every major town. Have you been to the Amber Temple? No. Okay. Uh, do you care about spoilers at the Amber Temple? Or yes, one of the I elements do. here? Okay, then I won't, then, okay, I won't say it. Okay. Because my group is there at the moment, and... Nice. I, I won't say I won't spoil anything. I will say it is equal parts hilarious because they're a very capable group. Um, we have Saro, who's our rogue. He's a tabaxi rogue. Yeah. So you know what that means. Insanely skilled as a rogue. Uh, and a swashbucker specifically. So none of the like even the issues of um like exiting out of combat. Yeah. Um. We have a spider folk, or rather, like, web-focused, um, like, terrain-altering-focused, um, sorcerer, uh, nice. played by Froggins, and half the time, the entire arena just gets fucked because of the sorcerer, so a lot of my enemies get stuck, or if they w like, if they're not smart enough to know to go around the problem, then there's a barbarian who's a half or half orc, I'm saying older, orc, um, and he's insanely strong. And then we have a druid who uh, a set, does a really knows how to use her spells and often is very smart with her wild shapes. Nice. So I'm like, and then like I I have like a DMPC paladin that's just there to heal. Um, he's just there, uh, not, doesn't really do too much, because that's how you should play a DMPC if you do need one. Yeah. They are there to fill a role that is needed, not to be a main character. Uh, so I figured, oh, they're gonna stop the temple. They're doing equal parts well, and also horrible. Oh, no. It's amazing. <laughs> They, they may be okay, but there was a bunch of shenanigans involving the rogues splitting away from the party alone. The duality of man. The duality of man. It was very funny. But yeah, ah oh man, I cannot wait to hear your stories about the Amber Temple. Yeah. Because I remember the Amber Temple when I was a player. I remember the Alamo. I remember the Alamo. <laughs> My, um, my brother is in my Curse of Strong game and in another Curse of Strong game at the same time. And in Ooh. his party, he his other party, he plays a cowboy. Um, and at the start of their campaign, their characters met up in a place called the Almer Woods. It's A-L-M-E-R. Thank you, Precious. Oh. Almer Woods. And, um... <laughs> Um, that's where they got whisked away into Barovia. Um, and they met, uh, a random guy in the forest. And we're like, hey, where were we? Are we still in the Alma Woods? And the guy's like, no, you are in Barovia. And they're like, we could have sworn we were in a place called the Alma Woods. And the guy was like, are you sure you're remembering correctly? And without skipping a beat, my brother said, I remember the Alma. <laughs> and, in fact, um, uh, 
my housemate Ollie, who is my brother's wife, uh, she made an animatic, an animatic of that. Oh my god. I'll have a link to it in the chat if I can find it real fast. Please do, that's amazing. You know I don't disaster. Ollie! Mm -hmm. Can you link me the Auburn Woods uh, animatic? Because I'm, I'm talking about it in my chat. Thank you. Right. That's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's gonna send it to me. Mm -hmm. And then I'll send it. Yeah. By the way, I'm sure I've never said I have not, I have said this more than enough, but I still insist. I freaking love the little animatic you did of the you know, I wonder if <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Prince freaking the fuck out. I watched that again today. It's it's still my most viewed video on YouTube. It's so good. You just capture like I never even went to too much detail about like how uh, Beaumont looks. Um, <laughs> I just know I know him personally. <laughs> you know him personally at this point. Like yeah. you know word for word what this man does and dresses and like it's so good <laughs> and die, don't you <laughs> right. here it is I'm linking it on Twitch yeah yeah let's go Everybody should subscribe to that YouTube channel, by the way. Oh, I've seen a few animatics already, yeah. <laughs> Only gets around. <laughs> oh my god, the death. Just the instant breaking down laughing. Oh my god. God, this is... This is what makes I find tabletop games so fun. Yeah. It's moments like that. Like, what was the... God, I could have like a billion things of Chud alone that is just like magical moments. I, I do wish... Um, it's fine, I understand like we why we didn't. Um, I'd love if we could record the Wednesday game. Because yeah. out, of, out of all the characters, Chud is not by character type. Um, but more by the fact that because he has, like, an accent that I have practiced thoroughly, like, any time I drove home. I love and, it. Yeah, like, I should, I like food, I like to see how I try to fight folk. <laughs> That's good. That's a good boy. But yeah, no, I like I like the, just the number of stuff that could happen with characters that say hilarious one-liners. I still think we should do um, a one-shot sometime where we all play silly fishmen. Then you, you can be Chad and I can be Lear. Oh my god. That, yes. I actually have two fish guys. I have Chud, and then I have an actual Sahagan named, um, Salvador. Yeah. We can bring Cory in. He has, um, a cobalt that looks like a gummy fish. A gummy shark. <gasps> oh my god, please. Just a bunch of goofballs on a wild aquatic adventure. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Make all their stats for that cobalt so it can actually run underwater. <laughs> you want to know what would be like? I I, I first want to do the Wild Beyond the Witchlight like through Cream's playthrough first. Yeah. Like imagine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. nice. <laughs> that actually <laughs> fucking scared me. <laughs> Oh my god. Thanks for the two dollars and the jump scare. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh 
Uh, but imagine just Lear, Chud, and Cory's <laughs> fish people in a theme park. Or is like a, 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 a fair. I would say yes if I was not already uh, betrothed for a witch fly campaign. Oh yeah, no, no. My my idea is like, because I think like both you and I are betrothed to different witch light campaigns. Yeah. We play those th through those first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we come in with like our worst characters, <laughs> <laughs> and like disaster ensues. Perfect. Devious on it. Wonderful. <laughs> Oh, I got me really good. <laughs> I'm still recovering. Oh no! <sighs> Speaking of, Ollie is um, my housemate who made that beautiful animatic. Yeah. I, I should have said that immediately, but the fart, like, it, it made my brain stop. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> We're gonna finish this condition up here for for my dear friend next to me. Yes. Yes. Dragon. For a bit and then have a nice chill time. Yeah. Oh, I see what the problem is. Oh. I'm not gonna fix that for the rest of the life. I'm not gonna do it. Um, so, when I do scale patterns like this, I'll mm -hmm. eventually like lower the opacity so they're not as prominent, but I forgot to do that on the entire of the rest of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just high opacity on all of it. It's not a big deal, this is gonna bother me personally. <laughs> Something had him sit up. Give him a that giant bucket that's like a mug. Um, is okay. Are, are we? Ta I assume you mean like obviously a plastic skeleton. Yes, right? it's it's the giant Home Depot skeleton. Oh shit! Okay, for a second I was like, depending on the size, I'm like, if you could get some like wire, you could maybe tie it. But if it's the giant one from Home Depot, yeah. that's a bit of a tough one to keep up, right? If they're like going now. Yeah, just have it, have it sitting. Have it sit down. That way you don't have to climb up on anything. 
just kind of holding be... its legs against its, against its chest, really cute and all that. I, I was about to say another one you could do is have like the D's up against the body, but then like have the skull down and the hands to the side. Like, oh man, oh boy, <laughs> I'm freaking out. <laughs> also, I'm valid goes. Like, oh god, oh god. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, what have I done? <laughs> then you buy a second one. <laughs> <laughs> If I had it my way, if I could afford it, I would have at least three of those bitches at my effort. Yeah. And we don't have an age away, so I can keep it out there year round and nobody can tell me to stop. Silly little snake. You sit you sit and you chill. Be a good little snake. Silly, silly, silly. Silly, silly. Oh my god. Okay, quick question. I assume you've seen the Barbie movie. I heard so. Um, I have not seen the Barbie movie actually. I was out of town when it came out and I didn't find time to watch it. Okay, I'm not gonna send this to you yet. It's Jenny time. Jenny time. Alright. There's, a, there's an image I found that's really good. Get it. What are you talking about? That is like absolute valid use of money there, Ghost. Oh, I wish I could buy more Halloween decorations. I want it so bad. <laughs> oh, there was one last Halloween. It was the cutest thing. I was driving home on the night of Halloween. And one, uh, I guess it was like a, a woman and her friends. I don't know if they're roommates in the area or just she invited her friends over. Um, they had like their yard decked out, but they had a huge cauldron. And all three of them were dressed as witches. They were like doing a coven thing for the night. Nice. It was so cute. I was like, ah, God, this makes me want to super decorate my, our house. But also our inside still needs a lot more organizing. So I really should not be buying tons of decorations. Yeah. What I might do though, is do the same thing I did two years ago and do little details to make our mailbox that's inside our door look like a monster again. Nice. I think. Hydration! It's Water. sippy time. It's rich. Nobody's redeeming it, but I need it. You need it. I need it! Ah! Uh. Oh, I need it! Yelling at me, he's yelling at Banjo, they're just being antagonistic. Oh no. They're all gonna fight while I'm streaming. I wish I could turn my camera on to show this, but my camera's occupied with my 3D model. Oh. Ah. But I think violence might be avoided. They were staring each other down. <laughs> Whoops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay. Now let's see if I can make this fit without it looking weird. What? Slaps his face. <laughs> <laughs> what all do I move? Okay. Right. He goes, 
goes way. Hello. Welcome. That was a good joke earlier. It was, hey. How's it going, my friend? Yeah, how you going? It's going all right. How, well, how has your day been? Oh, uh, pretty chill. Just work. I'm chilling at home. Nice. Also, uh, did you, just real quick, did you hear about the Crooked Moon thing happening? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the, oh my god, the, yeah, Adventures, that's the word, the Adventures book that they're putting out, Adventure yeah, book. Yeah, I'm so yeah. hyped, I fucking love Folklore Monsters so much. Yeah, and it's got chuckles in it. Yeah, I know, I, I actually, I'm on the vi VIP list, I signed up, paid the one dollar. Oh, man. I'm excited for the music from it, it's gonna be from the band that did the music for Over the Garden Wall. I... The second they mentioned the Over the Garden Wall, I just, like, I stopped my table. Like, I was like, oh, oh! <laughs> yeah, which makes sense because the the image that uh, has Chuckles in it has huge, like, Enoch from Over the Garden Wall energy about it. Yeah, no, Goodbye, um... Ghoster. Oh, bye, Ghoster! Bye, Ghoster! Oh, the, the best part is when I realized, um, that was what was happening, like, um, they mentioned the music. I kid you not, at our LARP we had the Bardic, and I tried, um, I tried to sing the Highway Band song, but I couldn't access the internet, so I did bumble the lyrics a bit. Mm -hmm. But someone who was kind of helping, I guess, I guess uh, he had done it to kind of get me, like, just more confident, he actually sang the main song. Like the lost through the woods in the mist light of of uh, more. Oh, I love that song. Yeah. I know it's so beautiful. Um, so uh, like literally that night, I come home and I see the chuckles. I'm like, ooh, what's this? And then like they're like, yeah, we also like the ad. They're like, oh yeah, we also have the song from the Blasted Company. And I'm like, ah, ah, uh, sorry, pay, pay, pay. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I was I was immensely excited. Also, I'm gonna link something. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Danny, for the follow. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the follow. I'm linking this. this, this a unicorn. I don't know. I don't know how. I uh, guess that's just inter internet spies for you. What? <laughs> It's a passing of the torch thing, and I'm like, H Tumblr, how? Tumblr, oh. how did you know? How did you know, Tumblr? Mystery. Oh boy. You We're know what? There. We're getting there. We're getting there. But you know what we should do at some point? Come closer to October? What? A binge of Over the Garden Wall. Oh my god, I'm gonna be obnoxious about it, and then I'm gonna end up singing every song while it's oh, happening. I'm listening to the music right now, and I don't know if you heard me, I'll race for singing one of the songs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be as quiet as I can, but it... Um, what, what you will get from me, because I've rewatched it so many times, I have actually picked up on so many little details that actually hinted to the twist at the end. And like me and another friend just spent like hours being like, "Oh, that was this thing!" And oh my god! <laughs> I, I, my god! I would love to like run a mini shot or like I guess like a mini series of just like that style of setting for like a mini D and D or tabletop game. Yeah. Yes. Like, I've actually been trying to work on a little homebrew setting that I may make a mixture of, like, 
um, spooky museum stuff, and then, like, fantasy fable creatures, and, like, have that all in the aesthetic of, like, a valley with, like, a lake and spooky forest, and in this sort of, like, fall cozy aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, he fell asleep! Now's the time to steal. Go, go, go! Take his gold! Go! He's sleeping real hard. Big sleep. <laughs> you, you'll you know he's asleep because he won't be curled up. His legs will be sprawled out. Like, he'll be on his side and his legs will be sticking out. Oh, he'll be splitting. He'll be splitting. He'll be splitting. <laughs> he'll be gluten. <laughs> what a process this is. But it's so good. Thank you. I'm glad it is meeting design expectations. I am so excited to see the full, like, image and movement. Oh, I mean, it, I'm... It's only almost 11 p.m., so, like, depending on how long you're willing to stay awake, you might see me do that. Um, I don't need to go to bed till at least 12-ish. Right. Around, like, likely closer to 12, I will have to bop off, because I do need to start prepping for bed. Yeah, you should, uh, or I should have this at least moved over to Fillmore by then. <laughs> That's where I start making it animated. Oh, uh, I just look at the post that you linked in the chat, Fluffs, and I I love this. And also, I'm afraid about the fact that I can name every single character in <laughs> this in this comic strip. Yeah, no, like I, I again, I don't know how Tumblr caught on to like I heard you're you're into Digimon again. <laughs> Here, here's Digimon. And Are I'm you like, following me on Tumblr? Uh, I am, that but it wasn't from right. you. Oh, well, you know. If it's recommended it, to you, it's because I'm posting the package. That no, no, I just realized that what you meant. Yeah. This... So, we have two Digimon protagonists that don't wear goggles. Oh man, the deviation. Deviation. Horrifying. Sacrilegious. <laughs> And neither of them follow the naming convention of ha having a name that starts with the letter T. Or having like a K sound in their name. A T or a K sound. Ooh. Sacrilegious. Once again. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Man, I gotta, I gotta start up on Applemon because I, I hear it's very good, and I've watched the first episode, and it went by pretty fast, but it was pretty good. Nice. Ooh. Okay, I think that's a solid blink. I'm gonna type some of the characters to freak out a lot. Yep, he did. Yeah, freak out. He's dead. We're good. Blink, uh, dead, talk. And I die again. Um. Back here. Hell wings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next is the thing I was putting off, which is the inside of the mouth. Mm hmm. You are that mouth. Mouth. Yeah, body. Yeah, mouth. 
Sí. Look at him talk. Yes. He's being a dickhead right now. Garen. Yes. <gasps> you know what he's should, should he have a tongue ring? <gasps> you know what he would. He fucking would. There you go. There yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love this boy and his audaciousness. Also, it's fun because the extra jewelry and all that stuff, um, along with a few other details on his face, makes him a little bit distinct from Thembershod. Yeah. So it's like, you can tell he's clearly inspired by Thembershod, but he's not Thembershod. Yeah. He's dumber than Thembershod. <laughs> he's stupid. He's stupid. But I love him, because I like dragons. Big compass dragon, here to go keep it tall. <laughs> it was not that hard. It was not that hard at all. Why did I get? about it. Why were you nervous about it? Because I don't know. It's a lot of layers and weird spots that I don't usually do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to make a second one for when the mouth is closed because there's a little gap behind the teeth that needs to be filled. Yeah. Oops. Do you want this, like, um, do you want his mouth glowing like I drew for your current icon? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna yeah, use I, I... open that for reference. Mm -hmm. Like, he definitely would, um, either, either just because, like, as a dragon, there's that element, or also the idea of, like, Never actively breathing fire, but always talking in a way where it's clear he might be threatening. Yeah. Like, sure you wanna fight with me? <clears throat> Alright. We're getting there one step at a time. One step. Come ring, come ring, come ring. Here you go. Munch, 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 munch. Got a munch, got a crunch. I'm gonna munch. I'm gonna crunch. <laughs> I love that vine so much. Same. I miss it. I think the part I also love is they use Clanker's theme from Banjo Kazooie. Nice. I'm pretty sure it's Clanker's theme. Let me check. Clanker's Cavern. Please. No, I'm wrong. What is it? Give me a second. 
let me let me let me listen again. Oh no, I think it's Grunty Industries. Not Grunty Industries. Um, the tanker one or she, the ship. I can't help. I've never played Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Oh my god, so, no, it's okay. Uh, I will find it. Uh, Kazooie. Uh... <laughs> well, how many video games have you played in your life? Pokemon, Kingdom Hearts, all of them. Um, Okami, Spyro. Ooh. The original or the trilogy remake? Spyro? Yeah. Um, original and the trilogy. Okay. And the Legend of Spyro games. Um... Also, Rusty Bucket Bay. That's the. If anyone cares. <laughs> Yay! You found it! Like, I know I've played more games than that, but, like, my mind's going blank. Like... <laughs> if it's not something that left, like, a hyperfixation behind, my brain's like, that's not important. Yeah, so far you've listed four game franchise titles. Yeah, but when I say those, those franchise titles, I mean, like, everything in them. Yeah, um, but considering Pokemon is the same game every time <laughs> for the mainline <laughs> games. You want to say Mystery Dungeon's the same as a mainline game? We want to fight about it. I just said the I just said Pokemon is the same game for the mainline titles, as in the mainline titles are all the same game. Well, I'm including most of the spinoff games as well. Gotcha. Um, oh, I just got more flashbacks to a game I fucking hated. Um, <laughs> it's it's called Scaler. It's for the Scaler? PS2. It's about a boy that turns into a wizard boy, and the character designs and monster designs in the games are really fun, but it's like a spiral knockoff, and the story is bad, and the mechanics are bad, <laughs> and it's just an absolute nightmare play. <laughs> It's awful, I don't recommend it unless you want to hurt yourself. Amazing. <laughs> Oops. That was great. Ah! That didn't give you like the fart sound. <laughs> it's so funny that the fart sound got you. It caught yeah, me I know. so bad. <laughs> you would think it'd be the vine boom, but nope, it's the... Bong. It's because I'm used to the vine boom. The, the far sound is one people have to spend money for. That's true. You, you hear that, chat? You're gonna have to work a little harder to start <laughs> the bowl. Um, I never played them myself, but I watched my brother play all the Mass Effect games. Um, all the way through. Some Assassin's Creed games. Bioshock as well. Most most of my like knowledge with bigger games like that. Uh, okay, well okay. You <laughs> <laughs> they got you, they got you so good. <laughs> Thanks. A lot of my um game experience is secondhand for watching my brother play. It's my job to look for treasure chests. Hmm. Collectibles, whatnot. Mm. I never played the second Bioshock, which I really should at some point because my dad says it's actually good. Mm -hmm. I played the first one, which was my first true PC game I played. Yeah. And the uh, Infinite. I wouldn't really label myself a gamer. I mean, I play games, so I can be a gamer if I want to be, but I don't do that much. Mm -hmm. I have the few things I never fixate on, and that's about it. No, that's fair. I ask because you have the... You, every time I talk to you about a game, it's like, it's like a 75% chance that you've never heard it. It's like, <laughs> talking to you 
feels like talking to a parent who has played like three video games in their <laughs> lives sometime. Well, I've heard of most games. I have like <laughs> awareness of them. I just haven't played them. Well, well, well. Look who hasn't played most games. <laughs> like, you played most games. I don't know. No. <laughs> I don't think you have. <laughs> There's too many games on Steam, and yeah, I don't have a computer that can run them. In the most literal sense, it's, it's impossible. Yeah. Yeah, there's still two Godamons. Ghoster went to sleep, but her Godamon's still here. Pacing. Plus, what about you? What's your gaming history? Um, so... My dad, when I was very little, would let me... Um, goof around in some of the PC games, though I was so little, I... Likely wasn't exactly the best. I mean, the, if we're talking, what's the first game you've ever played, quote unquote? That would be Doom. Oh, that's a hell of a first game. <clears throat> um, he would kill all the mobs in the setting. Then he would turn on the Barney the Dinosaur mod so that all the monsters, if he missed one, looked like Barney. Aww. And then he just let me run around shooting guns, just in case. That's so cute. Um, I used to watch him play horror games when I was a little older to comprehend games. Um, so I'd watch him play Doom. Mm -hmm. Uh, then we got a Nintendo 64, and I played games like Legend of Zelda, uh, both Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, Donkey Kong 64, um, Glover, which I have. I know I, I, know I have Glover. Um, also, uh... I had the name of the game, and then I lost it. Oh, Billy uh, Hatcher. No, um, obviously a lot of the uh, Mario Kart, and then of course a lot of the Mario parties. Yeah, I, yeah. I forget to count Mario games as games I've played. That's fair. Um, and from there, it was kind of a lot of me watching him play computer games at night on Fridays. And then I have like the console games, so I got like uh, the Tower 64, then GameCube, um, and then like I think I've owned, no, I've owned from Nintendo 64 up, except for the portable ones, like the, except for DS, I've owned most of the console, like Nintendo consoles, and one P at the PS2, I think. Yeah, PS2. Where I played Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Uh, mm. And then never played Kingdom Hearts again because the story is way too convoluted for me. No one <laughs> plays it for the story. Yeah, no. Oh, no, I'm aware. But, like, I usually kind of enjoy games of stories. Yeah. Um. So, eventually. Plus, like, the games are spread out across multiple... Co oh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm typing. <laughs> no, I look like you died. Like, I was up and died. <laughs> We talked um, about Kingdom Hearts and it killed him! <laughs> oh no! Uh... Yeah, so I played uh, some of that. Then... Then I got into PC games, which is what I play mostly now. Mm. Um... My first time playing, my dad let me finish the boss for... What was the game called again? Um... Oh my god, uh... Crisis, yeah. The first one. Gotcha. Um, what, what as my dad and I call it, when it was good, because the story got really dumb, because they then left the island and never really touched on that ever again. We were like, but th there, there's like a billion stuff you never touched on on the island. Why didn't you complete the story on the island before leaving? What the hell, yeah. game? Don't worry, worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm worrying about it. Oh, don't! I told you not to! You can't stop me. Um... Oh, I also did a few fights in Painkiller, which is a horror game set in around, like, hell and stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh... By the way, Painkiller 2 has, in my mind, the best depiction of hell in regards to as a concept. Because mm -hmm. every other hell, it's always just either generic fireplace, or, like, if there's any diversity, 
y you know, you might get some interesting stuff. In the case of Painkiller 2, hell is all the worst places humanity has been. So like one of the locations you can see in the distance is a nuclear bomb going off. You travel through like the trenches of World War 1 and 2. You travel through like wars at castles. It's just like the worst moments of humanity frozen in time that you are forced to experience eternally. And I'm mm. like, that is honestly like the best depiction of how I've ever seen. A, a making of our own creation, not just like burning place of burning. Like it's like, no, you go here because you did a bad thing. And what's the worst thing we do often? Cause wars for no reason. So I really like that. Like seeing the nuclear bomb in the distance. It was, it was, I don't know. I, I like the idea that there was a little more, like it isn't just like, yeah, if you're just a bad human, you go here. It's like, no, 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 no. This place is kind of like our own, it feels like our own creation. Like you're not just sent here because, you know, you, you didn't do a thing. It's like you genuinely did a bad thing. And the worst things a lot of people do is just like, I don't like this country for no convenient reason. Let me go to war with them. Mm. <laughs> so like, I, I, I okay. Good. <clears throat> you go first. Oh, I was gonna say, I hope those aren't the ones that are sent to the to the nuke Fallout one because they are gonna be mentally unaffected. They made the decision to bomb the place. You think that's gonna bother them? <laughs> Fair. What if they're like, the one getting bombed over and over again in hell? That's yeah. Yeah, no, they like, and they don't die. yeah, no, that 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 like that seems to be what is happening. Like it it, mm. it isn't necessarily like like for I, I, as said, like let me see if I can find a clip. Like it's, it's an old game, so it's not overly graphic. If any of you are worried, yeah. um, pain killer to hell. I just want to find a pic of um the image, like because one of the most iconic images I remember was just as you traveled through, seeing in the distance a nuclear bomb going off. <laughs> Also, hey YouTube, what the heck? I've historically been able to type in, like, the depiction, and you've been really good at... Give me a second. Here. Now, that'll take me a moment, I don't know... Is it... Am I getting them confused? Am I thinking maybe it's the first one? Pinko is actually an interesting game. The entire setup is a guy sent to purgatory. And he's tasked, like, if he wants to go to heaven with his wife, because, like, they both died in a car crash. But, yeah. like, um, he has to do, like, a few jobs, like, deal with creatures in hell. And essentially the entire idea is at the end of it, he has a chance to go to heaven, but he realizes, um, in, in the case of this, and I do like it because, like, I, I never played the future ones, so maybe they absolutely botch it, but throughout the first game, Eve helps him. And I think what happens is partway through she gets taken by Asmodeus to hell. And he has not and God's like, you're, you're good, go to heaven. He's like, I, I can't leave her. And he goes after her, except she had um, in, in a sort of jab at God, like saying, like, I am not your puppet. I am not your tool. She had purposely allowed herself to get kidnapped so she could kill the, the devil and take his role and be like, I am I am no one's slave. I will decide my fate. Good for her. And it's cool. The sequence, because the, the sequence, she, 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 when she becomes the devil, she has the apple and it rots. And like, it's like, it's nice. such a cool sequence. And I'm like, that's pretty fucking metal. And I'm like, okay. Like, I like the idea of just having the game end there and her being like, thanks for helping me take my power. Um, uh, by the way, uh, I, I, like, again, I simply just deal with evil beings. Um, you still essentially, like, I have no intention of going to war with any el entity. You can go to heaven now. Thanks, thanks for the help. <laughs> I'm gonna go rule hell like a badass. Nice. It's a cool sequence. Um, it, it, it's a fun game. And there was actually, the level I played was really pretty. Um, it took place in, um, it was called, the level was called Jerusalem. Um, it was like, like an old, uh, like, again, like this, like, ye old long ago temple in Jerusalem, yeah. like at the time. Again, I'm not 
religious in any shape or form, so I have no idea. But it was a really pretty level, it goes at night, so like you can see the stars and everything. It was really nice. Hell yeah. And then I played, uh... What's it called again? Um... Bioshock 2? And that's where I started playing computer games, like, uh... Jesus Christ. That could be a long list. All the Saints Row games, um, except for the first one. Um, what's that one called again? Billy Hatcher. <laughs> <laughs> I just love like Billy Hatcher. <laughs> uh, you mentioned it earlier, but you said Glover, and I have also played that. But I was very yeah. little, so I forgot. Yeah, no, Glover is like a weird little game, but I, I love the idea. It's so so weird, but it's so cute. Alright, Fluffs, guess what? What? It's time to separate the layers and get ready to animate. Yes! Move the mouth. Move it's the mouth. Oh! I found it, I found it. Okay. Uh, oh, so it's on the first one. Why did I think it was from the second one? I'll, I'll post it in collab chat. Uh, just for the part where, like, this person turns. Like, just the image of the atomic bomb in the distance just feels so ominous. Like, it really does feel like an endless war field where, like, there is no rest, there is no respite, it is just doom. My other favorite is Dante's Inferno. And that's because I really, really like how they interpret, um... Cerberus, who's the gatekeeper of the realm of gluttony. He is depicted as a parasitic worm. Why why is why is Cerberus in Dante's Inferno? That's not that's not the same religion. Um so I can't well he, uh it is very weird. Um okay, so how do I Alright Give me a... So, in actual, like, Inferno, like, Dante's Inferno, the book, the third circle of gluttony, um, Cerberus makes an appearance. It, it, he is named in the book. Mm. Or in the writings. Um, the, it, 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 in the, like, the, it's a Wikipedia article written here, but I know Cerberus appears. In the third circle, the gluttonous wallow is uh, an, an, a vile putrid slush produced by a ceaseless foul icy ring. As punishment for subjecting the reason to voracious appetite, Cerberus, described as Il Gran Vermo, literally the great worm, the monstrous three-headed beast of hell, ravenously guards the gluttonous line in the freezing mire. So he does make an appearance in the book. Wow, Dante's just out here appropriating the, vis the visage of Kerberos for his own <laughs> fanfic. I know. Hi, <laughs> 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 Joel Art Corner. Yeah, thank you for the follow. Yeah, hooray right, for follows. Uh, but yeah, so Cerberus does make an appearance. But what I really like in the game. And that's the only level I like. The rest of it is pretty basic, but that one's really clever because the entire level, it is very visceral. It is, it feels like you're in a giant intestine. It's grotesque. It's everything's Ew. organic and sludgy. Not like, because the way it's described, it just sounds like you're in like a, a muddy rainstorm in the book. In the game, it's like, this is gluttony. The entire focus of gluttony, even though gluttony can technically extend to anything like excessive drinking, like, essentially gluttony is just the indulgence of something to an extreme. Mm -hmm. You know. Right, hold on, um, sorry, it's about to get real bad about something. Oh. Uh, I have to reduce the file size. Okay, no, we're good. It didn't get Yay! bad. Yay! <laughs> hey! 
I'm ready. Uh, but yeah, um, it's a gnarly level. But what I love is even though they mentioned Cerberus and historically, he, I, like obviously the fact they call it the Great Worm, I think it's meant to be more of a worm-like creature in the game. Um, you see a giant, like, weird humanoid creature, and when you approach the entrance to the third circle, um, the mouth opens and, like, a three-headed worm pops out. Like, it is depicted as an intestinal worm, like a monster. It's I got you. so cool. Oof. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do a lot of time things, so just get ready for me to start seizing. This is the tedious part of the process. Yeah. Yeah, I just oh. looked it up, Fluffs, and this thing looks like that that one creature from Dark Souls. The, uh, I don't remember its name, but it's also kind of like a big, jowly worm head that pokes out of the ground. I think I know the one you might be talking about. Uh, but yeah, like, I freaking love this thing. It's so gnarly. Like, it has no eyes where its eyes should be or just mouths. It's all mouths. King Seeker Framp. That's his name. Oh, yeah, those guys. Yeah, it looks like those guys. Yeah, but if, like, you just replace everything with mouths. Yeah. Yeah, that that entire like it, it I don't know, I really like the depiction of uh like that that's the only part of um the hell in the game that I'm like, holy shit, they wh whoever they put on that level went like So uh you said I have free reign, yeah, go nuts. Okay then And then they went nuts. <laughs> It wild out. It wild out. It was. It, it, it's a pretty, pretty cool level. Like it is. It, it's gnarly. It's pretty, pretty gnarly. Yeah. What a process this is. <laughs> no head. <laughs> no head. Oh my <laughs> god. Nub. Just Not nub. The third unique but okay depiction is as above so below's hell. That one is I like the idea. Oh, it's underground and feels very claustrophobic. Um mm -hmm. but Hold on. Uh, YouTube started playing copyrighted music and I was like, no, no, why no! would you do that? YouTube, how could you betray me? That's not part of the playlist. Diddy Kong Racing saved me. Diddy Kong Racing, hooray! Uh, in As Above, So Below, um, it's all just like an underground, like, catacomb-style environment. Because it does take place, or it's supposed to take place below the French catacombs. Mm -hmm. Um, what I do like is when things get a bit more surreal, you get things like, like, teeth and eyes in the ground. That was kind of neat. Um, like, I, I, I like I like deviations from the hell's a fireplace because it's like yeah yeah we get it terrible fireplace uh huh like yeah we get it they put you in a cauldron like wow so you need you know who also puts me in cauldron witches <laughs> you know who also does that wizards. A lot of people can put you in a cauldron. Anybody can do that. Yeah. You know what no one can do? Give me a giant worm with just teeth. Do you have eyes? No teeth. Teeth worm. Butt? No teeth. Everything is teeth. You would think a place that's described as, like, punishing sinners and, like, 
evil folk uh, who died in the afterlife would be more respected and revered rather than feared, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Uh, like, you, you, would, you would certainly at least assume... Like, that. that's why I have always loved it when, like, de like demons or devils or hell... Like the, like, the leaders of hell and so on are just like, Ah, oh, yes, you're evil. You want evil here. Nah, my job is literally just, I run hell. Yeah. I don't give a shit what you guys do. Unless you're, like, a gigantic piece of poop. Hmm. Then I care. So, keep that in mind. But otherwise, it's not... I don't, I don't care if you guys become evil. This whole... Oh, you whisper in people's ears. No, I don't. I got better things to do, dude. I got Netflix to catch up on, okay? <laughs> got shitty reception down here, so I'm still catching up on my shows. Alright, you ready to see this stupid bullshit that I have to do? Let's go! It's time, right. everybody. Stupid bullshit begins. Stupid bullshit begins. Your indeed. words. Your words, not mine. Your I'm favorite just... time. Alright, upload all these frames and make myself smaller here. Make yourself small. Ready. Ready. Hydrate. Okay. Hydrate is. Hydrate. The dry hydrate. Hucky dokey. Artichoke. Bop, 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 bop. My, so, um... Oh. oh. I was gonna say, thankfully, I've got these ordered. Yeah. Correctly. Also, thank you, chat, for indulging me on my ramble on the different styles of hell. I, I really <laughs> like fantasy setting done in, like, creative ways. I think something fun in interpreting, like, anything fantasy-based in unique new ways. <laughs> it's a lot about, like, just how people can envision things just like the wild creativity of these Yeah. Well, I like witches. It can be anything. You want a witch to be you want, you want a witch to be a little little frog? You can have a frog witch. Like nothing can stop you. <laughs> nothing can stop frog wizard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nothing can stop you except historical accuracy. And I mean, and I mean, depending on the situation, historical accuracy could just uh sit sit in that chair in the corner there. And think yeah. About, and think well, about it's only. It <laughs> yeah, it's only it's only relevant if you're going for an interpretation that is historically accurate. Otherwise. Mhm. Mm Madoka Magica. Yep. Yeah, that's the otherwise of it. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the movie! Oh my god, so excited! I'm so excited! The trailer came out six days ago. Oh, shit, really? Yes! Yeah. Oh my god, I got a fucking... Jesus Christ, I got so much stuff to watch. I got Peacemaker. I got... Jesus Christ. I got Digimon, which I got now. Yeah. Alpergus Nacht Rising. Trailer on any Plex USA. Exciting. Or I guess it's Valperfe. Valpergus knocked because it's German. Yeah, Val yeah German. Valpergus. I am. I cannot do a German accent. Say <laughs> apologies, everybody. <laughs> Don't mind me chicken dancing in the corner of the <laughs> No, I I love it with the like. I feel like of all the times you could do chicken dancing, Diddy Kong racing is the perfect time. Yes. <laughs> Chicken Duck Dance. That was a game I also played. What the fuck is Chicken Duck Dance? What? What? Yeah, what? What is Chicken Duck Dance? Explain it. Kit? It, it might be. I think there is. What do you mean the duck? Where does the duck Duh. come from? <laughs> I, okay, okay, I, I think I might know what it is. So, it's called the chicken dance, 
but I think if there's actually, give me a second, I might be able to confirm this. Oh, they're referring to the lyrics of the song that that dance is from. Be, yeah, that's exactly what I say. I want to be a chicken. I don't want to be a duck. I don't even think of the song having lyrics. I just know the two. Yeah, no, it does have lyrics. I only yeah. know the first part where it's like, I don't want to be a chicken. I don't want to be a duck. So it's like, no, but quack, 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 quack. Okay, why are you disappearing when I do that? What Thank you, you kid. Jump, kid, jump. That's way too fast. I forgot how funky the song was. So did any of you ever, if you played Diddy Kong- <laughs> Oh, there goes Bull. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid that's a down here off screen and pull off like a video. <laughs> that's fine. Um, it, for, for anyone both in chat and here who has played Diddy Kong Racing, did any of you ever beat the pig sorcerer? No! Never! That guy is, that guy is fucking insane! I tried! Impossible. I beat every other guy except for that- Picky bastard! It's like how? He's evil and unfair. He is. Yeah, oink indeed. It's horrible. The guy, by the way, Rose. Uh, the guy cheats before the the race countdown goes down. He goes a few seconds before the race starts. It's evil and disgusting, and I will kill yeah. him. Yeah, he's horrible. He sucks. Also, I still can't believe they added Conk. Actually, ah, I'm gonna look that up real quick. What game came out in what order? Also, I remember the game. I remember the game I was gonna say I played as a kid, which always blew some people's minds. Conker's Bad Fur Day. I played that game when I was like, too young to play that game. Oh, nice. Which is fine, It was. it's a fun game. It is hilarious. I still, Freaking love the hay giant like Terminator hay where it goes. I'm going to wander around aimlessly. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanders around the barn. It's great. Also, just the Mighty Poo song. I am the great Mighty Poo, and I'm going sometimes. to throw my shit at you. So good. That okay. speed should be a little better. I'm still break dancing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. I haven't played any of the like NES or SNES era games. Oh, same. Never did. Me neither. Diddy Kong Racing's on the N64. Hey, hey. Yeah. Here's a here's a wild revelation, which means I always thought it was the reverse. Guess which game came out first? Conquer's Bad Fur Day or Diddy Kong Racing? Conquer. No, Diddy Kong's Racing. 1997. Conquer's Bad Fur Day came out 2001. Oh, so. Wow. Well. Ah. That means Conker was wholesome little squirrel driver to fucking drug-addled nightmare alcoholic squirrel. Well, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> how the mighty has fallen. Don't you mean how the mighty has fallen up? <laughs> nah. That's commentary. <laughs> <laughs> the fact... The fact that there's no Fortnite dance in here really shows Laura's age. It's not Laura's fault. <laughs> These are presets from a, a pack you can just download. Ah. Uh... <laughs> so is it your fault then? Well, I didn't know he sent me the ones to download. I don't know where he gets it. And it is his fault. <laughs> he could have downloaded a Fortnite dance. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Speak to me, Veronica. Oh. Speak to the manager. Dear Lord, I wish there was a Fortnite dance. How could you not have a Fortnite dance in here? Sincerely. Dear Lord. <laughs> Dear Lord. Signed me. <laughs> Yes, I still really love your work, smiley face. <laughs> no, your work is useless to me because you don't have a four by dance. Ooh! <laughs> seven! You should not! Uh... Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft. Aha! 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 Okay, that might need to happen quicker. I can fix that one. Speed over there! Over here, highlight screen is there. Screen right there. Think. Oh, I used to be quicker. <laughs> oh. What, the tail wag? No, the. the... Wings flexing is too slow for my liking. Oh. But is it too slow for Umberthul here's liking? It is the animation flow, but if you would prefer to keep it slow, I will. Ah, uh, no, I think a little faster. Here, let's try that. That's better. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. I usually make them go really fast, but the only ones I've done that on so far are like tiny wings. But when they're this big, a little slower is better. Yeah, no, slower kind of like gives the person something bigger moving. Yeah. Did you have it? Oh. I was gonna say, I don't know. I... So I was gonna see, or I was gonna ask to see what it looks like if you have it where the, um, the frame where they are, like, extended out, like, a little bit longer, so it looks like he's doing big, stretchy. Um, the extended out one is more of, like, a motion bounce. Hmm. He's, and he's curling inward, and his wings aren't opening all the way. You don't need to open all the way for big, stretchy. Yes, you do, though. It's not a big, stretchy. <laughs> Maybe you do. Hey, hey, no, stop that. Stop. <laughs> the cat started fighting on my bed. Oh no. Quick, Banjo, show him what it's like to do big stretchy without fully extending out. No, they only do the biggest stretches. Oh wait, this gif is under four seconds long, that's fine, I can keep it that long. Right, right there is the back here. Why is my hand up? I did not have my hand up, why was that there? Are you asking a question? Ghost hand. Phantom okay. limb. Here. Phantom limb. Phantom limb. What's here? Phantom <laughs> pain. I was thinking the exact same. I'm like, <laughs> could I make, what kind of joke could I make about Metal Gear? <laughs> <laughs> you were saying hi. Yes.
house and this and this here. Call me, I can get it done before you go to bed. Yeah! Do my best. Rush. <laughs> yeah! Go, go, go! No, don't rush! <laughs> no, 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 obviously. Rush, rush. Go, go! You have to! Ah! <laughs> You can see that here wiggles now a little bit. Uh, that's that's the one behind the head, so it's not going to be as prominent as the front here. Yeah. And here we finally put the body on. Flap that body on. There we go. No head. An idle head. Short head. Will I am playing in the background. You know the song. redeem her five points, but how often <laughs> that joke is made. You're so right. <laughs> there's like, there's other vines to quote. Why is that our go-to? I don't know. Why is that the funniest thing in the world to us? I don't know about you, but to me, it's the it's the mental depiction of the throwing the phone directly onto the ground and then snapping your skateboard in half. That too. Can't wait for us to start watching Digimon Data Squad so I can see another attempt at writing Yamato, a Yamato character. Oh, uh, they got another one. Yeah, that one has another one. And they also have Girl. Mm. It's a it's a three person group. They get a fourth later on, but it's it initially starts as a three person group. This is the final version for not talking. <laughs> oh boy, I do not know the English opening of the Data Squad series because in my brain, all I, all that plays is Hirari. <laughs> yeah, 
guess we're gonna find out. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh. So let me. Okay. What? There you go first. Uh, I'm, I'm saving this and then exporting the GIF. Um, and then once that's done, I'll go back into the file and make it talk. Yeah. Uh, Cream. Ha yes. Has Bull gotten to the scene you had mentioned to me? Yeah, we got to that today. Yeah. <gasps> I was mentioning it, I'm like, I didn't want to spoil because you wanted to watch the show yourself. But so I, the I one with figured the... it was the same thing. But the, you know, the one you, the one you had said we can't make any jokes about, like even subtle because... It would spoil, yeah, they, they've they seen it. Oh lord and savior! <laughs> <laughs> I have been itchy to say that this entire time! Dude, that episode came out around Easter time, too. Oh lord and savior, Gap, oh, Gap, who won? He fought Lucifer. He died for our sins. And thus was he reborn, where Guru Ruman? I sure. And thus was he reborn again, where Guru Ruman? Sagittarius mode. <laughs> Sagittarius. <laughs> Okay, that's where the gifts go. Oh wait, no. They go in the folder. Yeah, it was really funny. That episode goes so hard, too. It really did go super hard. There was a lot going on in it that I'm not gonna spoil. Yeah. That one completely unrelated to that funny scene. <laughs> that's the that's the opening scene to the episode post recap yes. too. That's the first thing I've seen. <laughs> I want I I desperately want to know like if them stand having the having Gabumon and the Elecmon standing on the wooden platform to keep them held up was part of the original concept, or if whoever boarded that episode wanted them to have like their legs hanging down. I have to know. Okay. That resolution is way too high. What are you talking about? What the fuck? Hold on. It kinda is his own, just cause that Agumon is like if you look at that Agumon, that is that is not the same Agumon as the original season, that Agumon, <laughs> Daimon Masaru's Agumon, something went wrong in the printer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see if I do this correctly or if I fucked it up. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember much of Data Squad, so I have no feelings for it one way or the other, but I I remember watching it. I definitely remember watching it. I, I fucked it up. <laughs> oh no! What'd you I do? I exported it wrong. Hold on, I didn't show you. Okay, I guess. Did, did you export it as a ping instead? Um, no, I, I somehow shrank it. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Hold on. I have to just find, find a file. Hold on. Um, open. Image. Alright, give me an image. This is gonna take a second. I have so many file folders. Okay. Um, here he is. <laughs> where, where is he? Where is he? Oh my gosh. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Uh, it's, 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 I don't know how that happened. 
We need, we need a tiny umbrella. I don't know. <laughs> Put it on my desk. Put it on my desk. Alright, it's, it's probably gonna disappear here in a moment because I have to save over the file, but you can have it for a minute. Yeah! Hi! He's so tiny and chunky! Wow. Wow. I love him! <laughs> I could palm this guy. Having a good time, just sitting on this desk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened. He reminds me of. I actually have the plus toy It He reminds me of the plus toy thumbershot. <laughs> He's just sitting there like, hey, me. Jump a little. Just, I'm just in here. What happened? Why are you so small? <sighs> I could not for the life of me describe what just happened to him. <laughs> Be small. Want to be tiny. All right. Well. Scratch my back. Uh, where on your back? All the back. All right. Just placing my entire palm on your back. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> To happen, Tiny Umbrothal is amazing. This is so funny. <laughs> he's, he's so cute. Hey, both think fast throws you at both. He can stay there for now. <laughs> Oh my god, imagine if you put him on someone's head. Alright, he disappeared oh. for a second, I'll fix it. I had to rename him. There, there he is! Back. He's back! Like a spam message! Go yeah. away, spammer. We don't want ya. Be gone. Be gone, thought. Okay, I'm gonna send you the, um... Wow, here in a second, what's that redeeming? Yeah. Oh fuck. There goes my mouse. Oh, what happened? Uh, I reached for my mouse and instead of grabbing it, I hit it. Oh no! <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. And the mouse is fine yeah. too. Um, so Flux, when I send it to you, Discord is gonna compress it in a weird way. Um, just for the preview though, so if you open it in your browser, it'll be completely normal. Okay. <laughs> oh, looks like it didn't compress it at all. Oh, that looks so good. His little ear wiggles and his wings. I'm just tail waggling. I love his tail waggling. Yeah. All right, time to make him talk. <laughs> Now he goes to yell at you. <laughs> I, still, I still love just the tiny Umbra tool so much. <laughs> He's just so precious. He's a little guy. That's the, I didn't have to resize him at all. That's how he came. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me put on stream the actual GIF. Yeah. Browse. Oh, Solo came up, keep away. Wow! Oh! Yo! Look at him. Great. He's big. He's big. Large and in charge, for real. Large and in charge. <laughs> <laughs> where, 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 where? Alright, I'm get at you. Big one. We Great. only need one. It needs the tiny one. Yes. Let's make him talk. Make him go talk, 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 talk. He looks like he'd have either uh, a New Jersey or a Long Island accent. He's voiced by Danny DeVito. Let's be <laughs> oh, perfect! He's by Danny DeVito. Beautiful. Yes, exactly what I wanted. Don't mind me breakdancing. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
<laughs> you? You've got to do something about that. No, I kept it this way on purpose because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> he from what 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 visual novel is he from <laughs> what we need to make right now <laughs> oh my god we need to make it right now data dragon he's, he's that he's that one character that people think is just like a background character but if you find the right route you can date him <laughs> <laughs> Same settings as last time, so let's find out. Check the file. Hey, Bull. What? You know, it's the funniest thing. If you what? took, like, in the future, if occasionally, like, in, like, a corner section peeking out slightly is a tiny umbra tool. <laughs> I could probably do that. <laughs> like, just watch it from a corner, just being a little creep. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to deliver the goods to you. Ah, yeah! And you know what that means. Ooh. Before you go to bed, you can update your Fuji tech. Oh, yeah. I do need to update. Love, love. I'm gonna give you a second. Okay, first, save the first image. Then I need to save all the second image. Okay. Then I gotta remember how. To there you go. Found it. Together patiently, as best as yeah. my dance will let me. I, I will say, I do need to check one thing, but where did I save him again? Also, oh, somebody in stream spawned in as Vegeta, and uh, <laughs> Vegeta does not have a walking animation, he just floats. <laughs> yeah! Images, give me a moment. Yes. Okay. yes. Here. Go to here. Uh. Okay. Ruffs is gonna have to be moved behind Cream because you're about to have big wings. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's saving. So then you started blasting. <laughs> I'm the garbage man. I trashed. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, that's so fun. That was a big one. There's a little one. <laughs> yeah. Little guy. Little guy sitting there. He's, he's my son. Oh, speaking of things on Cream's desk, you want to know that I'm so happy in my OBS folders? Yes. <gasps> yes. Oh, 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 yeah, okay, oh, there oh, there you go. My collection of things. <laughs> My collection <laughs> of friends. I, I like the idea that like in the future it's just like what appears on the desk, there's a little oddish, there's a little dragon. <laughs> Oh my god, when I switch over to the starring ending screen, you're gonna take up the entire screen. <laughs> yes! Oh, wait, actually, you're gonna be shrunk because you're fitting the parameters of your last one. Hold on. Oh no! Um, yeah. We can check it real quick. Yeah. Yeah, you're in the middle! <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm gonna stay back here for a sec. Oops. Yep. Not me to move chat. My bad. <laughs> you were. <laughs> I beat you. Hey, where am I? Where did I go? There I am. You're behind me, sorry. <laughs> yep. We're all we're all very large. We yes. are big creatures. We are the the main attraction. I'm just here for fun. I'm gonna shrink Fluffs a tiny bit. Ah, baby! There you go. And I can, I can grab, 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 Wow. Alright, so I'm gonna, I won't post the finish and tell tomorrow because I have to, like, since it's a GIF, I have to make it into a video format to show both of them at once. No, that's fair. Um, but I did it! You did it! Yay! Yay! You fucking did it, baby! Hey, Chunker! Fuck you, man. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Wind down real quick. So Fluffs can go to bed. Yes. Alright, who are we gonna read? We're gonna read Bonnie. Yeah. You copy and paste her name. Make it easier on myself. So you don't have to see me start seizing again. But you can see a little bit. He's good for me. Here we go, we've got the read started. Yeah! Yay! Woo! Woo! That is a productive and accomplished day in my book. That is, yeah! I did have fun the entire time. Hell Complaining's yeah. part of the process. <laughs> no, I get it. <laughs> um, so, everybody, thank you for coming. Uh, do your stretches, drink water, get a snack, take your beds. Take care of yourself. I love you all. Hail Satan. Good night. Dog, dog. <laughs>